song. Well, hello, kitties. It's your friendly neighborhood watchman here with you today to talk about some results from the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. This being a post on X from a loser Democrat, that being Rachel Vidman, who made a joke about the incident and, of course, replied to anyone who had a problem with her comments as being triggered. Of course, if something similar was said about an attempt upon her husband or the politicians they support, they have their smutty panties twisted in a bunch. But I digress. Without further delay, Without further ado, let's, let's do this! Let's jump into this article from the New York Post with the byline from Josh Christensen with the heading, Wife of Trump Impeachment Witness Downplays Assassination Attempt. Quote, no ears were harmed, end quote. That's about as witty as the leftists can manage. Ian, but he ain't lying. The wife of a former impeachment witness against President Donald Trump in 2019 downplayed the second assassination attempt on Sunday afternoon. This being the two unlovable losers, Alexander Vidman and his wife Rachel, who both have the faces they deserve. <laughs> no ears were harmed. Carry on with your Sunday afternoon. Rachel Vidman, the wife of Alexander Vidman, posted on X. The post repulsed GOP strategist and Trump campaign advisor Chris Lasavita, who called on a candidate to denounce his wife's words. Her husband, a candidate for Virginia 7, should condemn immediately, La Savita posted to X, mistaking this twerp Alexander Vidman for his brother Eugene Vidman, who is running for the open seat in Virginia's 7th congressional district. That seat is being left vacant by Representative Abigail Spanberger, Democrat, Virginia. I condemn your lack of integrity, your attacks on immigrants, but nothing about the illegal aliens' attacks on innocent United States citizens. Typical, your desecration of Arlington National Cemetery. Alexander Vidman fired back in a series of ex-posts accusing Trump and his supporters of stoking violence. Number one, this turd, of course, ignores the illegal aliens' attacks on innocent civilians. And that BS about the desecration of Arlington National Cemetery when the President Trump was invited by the Gosar families and asked and received permission for cameramen to be present. So, up yours. Same crappy Democrat sleazy tactic that Carmella did during the debate of bringing up hoaxes, lies to be exact. Your candidate, a real Donald Trump, has excited political violence for a decade. Yeah, okay. He hasn't even been in politics for a decade, you idiot. He can reduce the temperature of this election cycle, but you mega driver and bullying. Fact is, you are all weak, he added. You talk about projecting. I'd love to meet you in a boxing ring. Surprise, motherfucker. I am deeply disturbed by yet another attempt of political violence in our nation. That milk toast Alexander Vittman's brother Eugene wrote on his only ex post on a near assassination. I am grateful that no one is hurt. Bullshit. <laughs> 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 and thankful for the law enforcement agents who acted bravely and swiftly in the line of duty. Yada, 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 the same crap all the Democrats say when we all know privately they would love if Trump was assassinated. For her part, dumbass Rachel Vidman doubled down. Sorry you're triggered. I mean, no, I'm not. I don't care a little bit. She posted it on her ex. But it was about your milk toast husband. You would be triggered. It what triggers you? My God. Trump has been exciting violence against his enemies for years. He douses a situation in gasoline, lights a match, and walks away, claiming no responsibility. She added, look at what is happening in Springfield. Oh, right now he wants to claim he's a victim. You cannot have it both ways. You notice how she ignores the fact that What's happening in Springfield, Trump had nothing to do with. He didn't transport 20,000 illegal Haitians into that community. Did he now? No, let's ignore that unconvenient fact. 
But I digress. Conservative and Republican critics lashed out at Rachel Vidman for implying the first assassination attempt was also bloodless. The family of Hori Comparator would like a word with Rachel Vidman, conservative radio host Hugh Hewitt said in response, This is precisely what is wrong with our politics today, added Representative Mike Lawler, Republican, New York. Your brother-in-law is running to be a member of Congress. That's Eugene Vidman, not to be confused with her spineless husband, Alexander Vidman. And you're making light of political assassination attempts. Good grief. Does this represent the stance of the whole Vidman family? <laughs> yes, it does. He ain't lying. Especially the one running for Congress, asked Representative Mike Waltz, Republican Florida. Instead of hiding, Eugene Vidman must condemn this inflammatory rhetoric immediately. National Republican Congressional Committee spokeswoman Delaney Bomar said in a statement, his silence can only be taken as agreement with Rachel Vittman's rhetoric. Funny how they talk about Trump's rhetoric and excuse their own. National Republican Senatorial Committee spokesman Mike Berg pointed out that President Biden had also hosted Rachel Vittman at the White House. Of course. Scumbags of a feather will fly together. He ain't lying. It's a Democrat's lovable loser right there. Ryan Roof. I don't think so, homeboy. Excuse me, homeboy. I mean, Ryan Root. 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 Uh, uh, to what? Uh, uh, what was that word? Excuse me, Your Honor. To youths. Stay on target. Joe Biden met with this deranged lunatic at the White House, he posted. Talking about Rachel. Rachel Vittman writes on a Substack account titled, Keep Moving Forward and it's the co-host of the Suburban Woman Problem. How about of my being stupid problem? I like that. Alexander Vidman was a key witness that led to House Democrats impeaching Trump for abuse of power and obstruction of Congress in 2019. Yes, we remember that scum. So folks, we've reached the end of this article, but when the opportunity permits, we'll read some viewer comments. First up from Laura Cook we have, Ah yes, the party of joy and tolerance. As long as you agree with them. I'm glad that she tweeted her ritual and that she hasn't taken it down. Good point. It's further evidence that the left is in total control of the Democrat Party. All the more reason that it's important that we not just vote for Trump, but all Republican candidates down the ballot. Damn right. Kurt Barlow replies, In the 1920s, the Soviet Union persecuted and severely limited religious activities. In the 1930s and 1940s, the National Socialists confiscated guns from groups of people that they didn't like. In modern times, they forced candidates off the ballot, ignoring the choice of primary voters. The lesson is clear. Fascists don't like guns, God, and free elections. Great comment there, Kurt. Oh, Harry replies, she's rather scary. Does she have children? In answer to your comments, yes, she is scary, and hopefully she doesn't have children. James Target also replies, cat. <laughs> she has cat. Oh, yes, good one. Jack Quickly, another leftist idiot, says, the gun-toting violent ones are all MAGAs. Yeah, okay. Both Trump shooters are MAGAs. If they were MAGAs, they would be shooting at the guy that is the leader of the MAGA movement. You turd. You nimrod. Damn right. Yeah. If they even were shooters. I'm thinking this is a Trump trick to get some attention anyway. He loves that attention. Never go for retard. I mean, can you take a person like this seriously? No, 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 no. I mean, they eat a... Stupid ass fuck. Yup. I mean, Max partisan stupidity or he's trolling. I give him the benefit of the doubt and choose the latter. He's trolling because I, I, I just don't know how a person this stupid could function in society, to be honest. You got that right. Woo! But James Target replies, Titty as much? Have you any idea how hard it would be to have a kid with limited experience shoot at you and only nick your ear? No, no, I, I don't think so. Are you aware that shooter number two is a Democrat? So is shooter number one. Don't get it twisted and buy into that mainstream media BS that he was a Republican. A Republican who donated to DNC causes, right? 
Nope. With what little funds he had. But I digress. Next up is from Jenny Lake. What? There seems to be a faction of the left that is so consumed by hatred and anger for political opponents that they are unable to think rationally or with compassion. How can they possibly think that snide comments are appropriate? Are they not able to think how they would feel if this happened to their candidate or a friend or a family member? I really struggle to, to understand their thinking. A well thought out comment, Jenny, but don't strain yourself over these idiots. They're hypocrites and they hate anyone that objects to their views. Chao Yan replies, and that faction is 90% of the party. <laughs> you got that right. Last but not least, or we'll be here forever, is Mariah Muniz, who opines egregious words by this woman. How would she feel if her husband, a political person, was being targeted in assassination attempts because he is running for office? I think she is a heartless person, as egregious as her words. What goes around, comes around, always. And with that, folks, we come to the end of this video. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. I don't know if my stomach could take this image, but we shall persevere. So folks, with that said, if you like the article and agree with my comments and with the comments from the readers, then hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so that you always be given a heads up whenever I mm, drop another video. And as always, stay safe and I bid you peace. P.S. here, a postscript, it seems like a day later, Rachel Bidman tried to backtrack and all the crap she was saying. Now we could figure out that she received a lot of flack from her family, especially her brother-in-law, Eugene Vidman, who's running for Congress, and told to delete all of her tweets on the subject of Trump's second attempted assassination. The second like says here, by Gunther Eagleman, the internet is forever. Sucker. Sucker. <laughs>